So then how do I go about introducing myself? I think I'm going to use some videos and pictures that will tell you more about me than any PowerPoint could. Now, quick question. What was wrong with that video? Besides the fact that I'm not nearly as cool as some of the actors are who have played James Bond, there was a critical piece of that segment that was incorrect. Let's take a quick look. Notice that James Bond is in the circle the entire time. I'm not in the circle at all. These are the kind of things that you're going to notice after taking this class. One of the ways I thought would be cool to introduce myself further would be to talk about or show you some of the people or things that I admire and am interested in. The show is called Suits. It's on USA and it has flat out some of the coolest characters you're going to find on TV. Particularly this guy. Life is this. I like this. I mean, really, who can say that and get away with it except for this guy? A memo. Very smart. Thank you. I meant them, not you. What? I found it. That makes me even smarter. Don't be cocky. It's unbecoming. <clears throat> On you. I can pull it off. Harvey Specter, ladies and gentlemen. So I thought I'd have to put in a little bit of biographical information, such as where I'm from, stuff like that. So unless you are a cup of dirt, you realize that this is the St. Louis Arch. It's where I grew up until 1991 when I graduated high school, and most of you weren't even born yet. Yes, I'm that old. But enough of that. Let's get on to the other things that make me who I am. Let's start here. First of all, I am an absolute geek. Probably about the size of, I don't know, say, Texas. With that in mind, it shouldn't surprise you with some of the things you're about to see. Darth Vader, easily the coolest villain. Look, it's totally cool to admit you have chills watching this scene. I mean, the sweet mask, then the breathing. Speaks for itself. And then watch this part. Come on, simply awesome. And then there's this scene right here. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes, or given you clairvoyance enough to find the One simple rule. Board. Don't talk smack to the dude in the black suit. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. Okay, back to the biography for just a second. I attended the University of Illinois from 1991 to 95. I studied history there and education, and it was a fantastic place to go and learn and blah, blah, blah. I attended Illinois on a baseball scholarship, which was really great. I love baseball. It also allowed me to not have a lot of school bills when I left. I was also fortunate enough to play professional baseball for a couple of years, which was just like college baseball, except I didn't have to go to class, and I got paid. But all good things have to come to an end, and eventually I was released due to elbow problems. So then the question was, what was I going to do when I was all grown up? We'll get back to that in a minute. The man's in a coma. Good point, I asked. Get bonus points if I act like I care. Oh, I'm so sorry you're dying. This is moron. I think Dr. House is tremendous. One of the things that you'll get to know about me, like Dr. House, is that I am extremely sarcastic. A great deal of the time, I'm just joking around, so please keep that in mind. I took my first teaching job in 1998. It was in Springfield, Illinois. I taught there for four years. 
And I tell people it generally takes you about two to three years to even figure out what exactly you're doing. While in Illinois, I coached baseball and volleyball, but was really starting to get tired of the small town atmosphere. A really good friend of mine told me that I should think about coming to Indianapolis. There were a lot of schools, it was a pretty big city. He didn't think I'd have any trouble at all getting a job at a great school. Well, there may have been a lot of good schools, but here's where I ended up. Five years. Folks, you can get paroled in less than five years from prison. I have tons of great stories about my time in IPS, but I can't tell hardly any of them because they're so inappropriate. But if you ask me, there are two that I can tell. I have been teaching in Westfield schools now for six years, and I have loved my time here. Initially, they brought me on board to be an economics teacher, but when the opening for the mass media video productions job came up, I was all fired up about it. As far as me personally, this is my wife Libby and my son Kyle. Uh, here are some pictures of our dogs. This is Maddie, and here's Emma. Just another couple little shots I could find. This was last Christmas, cutting down trees. And this is my new favorite pic right now. This was a picture of my son coming down the stairs and seeing his dino robot that he got for his birthday he had been asking for for months. Well, that's the story about me. Guys, I'm really looking forward to this year. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, so strap in. I hope it's going to be a great ride.